Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome back to the Tobinus channel. Get to subscribe, like, and share. Okay. Last video, I introduced the topic in obstetrics and gynecology, and I think I would want to continue in that direction and definitely still talk more on a lot of high yield topics okay so from the last video you already learned how to calculate the EGA and EDD so today we would progress into learning how to find out the gravity and parity of a pregnant woman <laughs> Before we go into how to find out the gravity and parity of a pregnant woman, let's introduce some of these terminologies. Gravidity refers to the total number of pregnancies regardless of the outcome. Okay, so as long as a woman got pregnant, you would count that as part of her gravidity, okay? So it was a live birth, stillbirth miscarriage and abortion it doesn't matter what the outcome is the most important thing is that she got pregnant for instance a woman comes to the hospital and then while you're clicking you ask her oh madam um how many pregnancies have you had in the past some of them would only tell you about their life births so you need to ask for the questions that no have you had any miscarriages in the past any abortions was there a time that maybe the child didn't make it up to to the due date or something happened to lost a pregnancy yes then they would open up to you because most patients would never talk about the pregnancies that they lost or sometimes you know some of them feel ashamed to even tell you that they had an abortion so you need to further ask you need to break it down so you could get the exact gravidity so now we move on to parity. So parity refers to the number of births after 20 weeks of gestation. Okay, so remember that while we were defining gravidity, we spoke about all the pregnancies regardless of the outcome of the pregnancies. So now parity is the outcome of these pregnancies okay so parity is what explains oh okay if it were to be a live birth or a steel birth or whatnot parity breaks down the outcome of this pregnancy a woman who is currently pregnant who already had two miscarriages what is the gravidity of this woman remember she's currently pregnant so that's one pregnancy and she already had two previous miscarriages so the gravity is three and then you will write it as g and three in front of it okay let's use another example so i would read to you from a journal a woman is 13 weeks pregnant has a history of loss of previous pregnancies at 10 weeks and 9 weeks of gestation respectively. She has three children. First child was delivered via normal vaginal delivery at 38 weeks. The second time she delivered twin girls at 36 weeks of gestation by lower segment caesarean section due to prom. What is her gravidity and parity according to the GP system and GT PAL? GT PAL for this particular woman. Now, the gravida is five, okay? She has five pregnancies in total. C, which is a 10. Now, remember, the third pregnancy was at 38 weeks, and then the twin girls were delivered at 36 weeks. Now up to 37 weeks is a pre-10 baby, okay? So we won't count that as a 10 baby. So that means for gravida, it's five. For 10 baby, 
that's one now let's move on to the p which is the preterm so we already know preterm will also be one because that is the pregnancy of her twin girls and then abortion now how many abortions did she have so all those pregnancies that didn't make it up to 20 weeks of gestation will be seen as an abortion and she had two of that okay the one she had at 10 weeks and then at nine weeks respectively so that means for a will be two so now the live baby which is the last one l now how many live babies does she have she has three children and let's have a recap g is five c the 10 baby is one p the preterm baby is also one the aborted baby that's the abortion is two and then the life birth is three sarah is currently 38 weeks pregnant and has a history of one spontaneous abortion it's currently 38 weeks pregnant and has a history of one spontaneous abortion at 12 weeks of gestation and one normal delivery of twin boys at 37 weeks of gestation so how would you record her basic gravidity and parity using the gp system and the gt power this is really straightforward right because how many pregnancies has sarah had definitely three pregnancies right so how about parity so what was the outcome of these three pregnancies as you know one ended up as an abortion and then she had a live baby at 37 weeks the parity would be the one she had at 37 weeks okay she delivered twin boys okay but we're going to count that as just one parity because it's one pregnancy okay so that means g is three and then p is one now let's move to the gt power system okay so gravida we already know what that is that's three now the term baby okay so did sarah have a term baby no sarah didn't have a term baby because sarah's last pregnancy ended at 37 weeks okay so she didn't have a term baby now how about a preterm did she have a preterm yes sarah had one preterm baby does she have an abortion yes sarah had an abortion and then how about a live baby yes sarah has two live babies okay the twin boys oh so guys i hope this is clear you know so guys that's all i would like to share today and i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave it a thumbs up subscribe and share share please and until another time have a great day guys bye